With Powerwall 3 mounted and wired, the system is now ready for commissioning. Start by turning the breaker for Powerwall 3 on, then turn on the enable switch. These two LEDs will turn green when Powerwall is turned on. Powerwall 3 is ready to begin commissioning when this LED turns light blue. Note that it may take up to 5 minutes for these LEDs to illuminate. Please note, if the Powerwall switch is turned on and the system is left idle, the logo LED will blink for 10 minutes and then turn off, indicating Powerwall has entered a sleep state. To wake Powerwall from the sleep state, Simply toggle the power wall switch off for three seconds, then back on. After ensuring that the light blue LED is on, installers will use the Tesla One app to connect to the Tesla Asset Controller within Powerwall 3 and configure all essential settings. Open the Tesla One app and log in or create a new account. When prompted, install any available updates to the app. From the Installs page, tap Begin Install. Next, a prompt will appear to scan a QR code. This QR code is located here, on the black plastic piece below the taco. Do not scan the QR code on the side of Powerwall 3, nor the QR code inside of Backup Gateway. Tap Scan, then scan this QR code. Alternatively, the SSID and password located on the sticker can be entered manually by tapping here. If a prompt appears requesting permission for Tesla One to find and connect to devices on the local network, select OK or Allow. This is required to connect to Powerwall 3. The app will open to the Powerwall 3 landing page. At the top of the screen is the representation of power flow throughout the home's electrical system. Because the system has not yet been commissioned, no power is flowing through the diagram. By default, the system is off and must remain off while configuring settings. Below this are tiles for each of the main sections. System shows information about all devices that are part of the system, including Powerwall and backup switch or gateway. Settings is where installers will enter the grid code for voltage and frequency, as well as limits for importing and exporting power. Networking is used to connect the system to the internet. System tests is used to simulate a grid outage. Registration is where the customer's information is entered, allowing them visibility of the system in the Tesla app. Software is used to check for device updates. And finally, the summary tile provides an overview of the installation, including the serial numbers of all installed equipment and an overview of the operation settings. Each of the tiles will display either a green check mark indicating that no action is needed, or a red or yellow exclamation mark indicating that attention is required. These flagged items are also shown at the bottom of the page in the alerts tray, which can be used as a shortcut for installers to address important issues. When every tile has a green check mark, the system is ready to operate. Powerwall 3 requires internet connection to receive its full warranty. Tap on Networking to set this up. By default, Powerwall 3 is ready to connect to the internet via cellular service. Cellular signal strength is largely dependent on the region and location of the system. For the most reliable connection, Powerwall 3 should also be connected to the customer's Wi-Fi or hardwired to the customer's internet router with Ethernet cable. Note that it may take up to a minute for Wi-Fi connections to display as a green checkmark. With the network configured, tap on Test Internet Connection before proceeding. Return to the landing page and scroll down to Software. This tile will indicate if a software update is required, recommended, or if the system is up to date. For the best commissioning experience, use the sideloading feature to download the Powerwall update to the commissioning phone rather than directly to Powerwall 3. This method is often faster and more reliable because the phone's mobile connection is used rather than the cellular modem on Powerwall 3 or the customer's Wi-Fi connection. When the update is complete, ensure that this LED turns light blue before continuing commissioning. Some tiles will have an alert at the beginning of commissioning for every Powerwall 3 job, like the settings tile. The first setting on this page is the grid code, which sets the system's voltage and frequency based on region and utility provider. This setting must be configured before the system can operate. Select solar installation type to configure the site as having either solar panels or Tesla solar roof. 
This field is required for Solar to function properly and for the Tesla app to display the correct visuals. Select either Solar Panel or Solar Roof and then tap Done. When site import or export permissions are being used for compliance, select Import and Export Limits and enter the required settings. Return to the landing page and the red exclamation mark will have been replaced with a green check mark. Moving on to the system tile, there are two tabs, devices and metering. The metering tab displays all connected meters with a summary of what each meter is measuring. For installations with backup switch, ensure that both current transformers one and two are set to site. For installations with gateway, set the integrated meter CTs to site or none depending on the site metering configuration. For installations with Gateway 2, CTs plugged into meter Y can be configured on this page. If pairing a Tesla remote energy meter, select the option to detect wired meter if connected with the RS-485 cable. If connecting via Wi-Fi, scan this QR code or manually enter the SSID and password on the meter label, then allow Tesla 1 to join the network. If this network is not being broadcast, power cycle the remote meter. When prompted, rejoin the Powerwall network. Once paired, select the Tesla remote energy meter to configure the function of each CT port. Set these as site or solar, depending on what each CT is measuring. Next, tap on the Devices tab. This page lists all Tesla equipment that is detected, including backup switch or gateway and any additional Powerwall 3 or expansion units that have been installed. If a device has been installed but does not appear in this tab, ensure that the device has been turned on and then check the CAN high and low communication wires for issues. Tap on Backup Switch or Gateway to view its current state and system vitals. Next, tap on Powerwall 3. Installers can use this page to set the power limit for Powerwall. To set this feature, tap on Max Current Output and select the appropriate rating from the drop-down menu. Please note, this setting can only be adjusted one time by installers. Contact Tesla Support if this value needs to be changed again. Return to the landing page and tap on Start System to turn the system on. This will initiate a series of automatic self-tests as well as device updates. The progress of any updates to Powerwall can be viewed on the Devices page, and updates to Tesla remote meters can be viewed on the Metering page. Note that the PowerFlow diagram will not display solar or battery operation until these self-tests are completed. With self-testing completed, select Powerwall 3 from the Devices tab to view solar production values from Powerwall 3. Use the Metering tab to review each meter's vitals and confirm that the CTs have been installed and configured correctly. If the system detects incorrectly installed CTs, alerts will appear, indicating that troubleshooting is required. Next, select System Tests from the landing page and select the backup type, which should either be Whole Home or Partial Home, and then select Begin Backup Test. This backup test simulates the experience of going off-grid to confirm that the system has been installed correctly and is operating as expected. Monitor the system as the backup test progresses, when ready, select Reconnect to Grid to end the test. When the test is successfully completed, select Done to return to the landing page. The final step of commissioning is customer registration. Customers will not see their system in the Tesla app until this step is completed. Begin by completing the installer information page. Then, tap Continue. Use the Show a Code or Text the Customer option to allow the customer to enter their information. If the customer is not available, Select Customer is Unavailable and complete the registration form on their behalf. The summary page displays information about the installation, including serial numbers of all installed equipment and an overview of operation settings. Commissioning is complete when the system is turned on and there are no alerts on the landing page. Ask the customer to open their Tesla app and verify that they have visibility of their Powerwall 3 system. Customers who already have a Tesla vehicle will swipe on the home screen to view their Powerwall 3 system. Demonstrate the capabilities of the Tesla mobile app to the customer, such as how to view power consumption and adjust settings.